Too slow. No. And we are live. Welcome everybody to the Stream Geeks episode two. Episode two of, of season, season two. two. Double twos. Today we are going to be taking you through um, our approach to multi-cam live streaming of a band or concert. Just this weekend, we got back from live streaming a music festival called Pretty Good Fest. And I just want to show you briefly uh, some clips from that show and uh, get you to dive into that. And then we'll dig into the details, how everything was connected and set up. All right, so Fireball. <laughs> uh, that's an interesting uh, story in itself, but we're here to answer questions and go over a really cool little presentation to break down how we did a really fun multi-camera live shoot. My favorite part, actually, Tess, was um, the low light uh, situation. You learned a lot. And I mean, this is the third year you've done it now? I think it might be the fourth. Fourth, yeah. fourth year that you've done it. And I feel like every year that you come back, you have big take backs. Like yeah. you learn a lot every year and go back and it's a little bit better every year. So it's been fun to see that progression. Yeah, I can't remember if the Stream Geeks were officially even there the first year. But um, so let's talk about what we improved as of last year. So last year you were there as well. Yeah, um, I wasn't actually you there yeah, this year. But, but last year you were there. You were there for the setup at least. And you were there for the setup. So you were there kind of. Um so last year we used serial cabling and serial mm -hmm. controls. We used a joystick. This year we did bring a joystick, but we decided to do most of the camera control over IP. And that allowed us to do a lot of fun stuff. So let me bring up my presentation and I want to show you guys some of the cool stuff that we This brought. is going to be a little bit of show and tell today. Yeah, there'll definitely be some show and tell. We know you event streamers can appreciate this. So Here we go. So first of all, let me go ahead and show you the unboxing of the cameras. So here we have a little case that I bring around and the case has Pelican. The Pelican. Oh, it's not a Pelican. It's called a um, private mark or something. It's available at Sam's Club. But we brought the two okay. cameras. We put them in there. And then uh, this year, another change. Instead of using uh, tripods, we're actually using something called um, 
Is it a truss? A truss system, yes. So they're much bigger. Uh, they're like speaker stands. And the trusses have um, a different mounting system. So in order to use the quarter 20 at the bottom of the camera, we used a truss clamp. Now, if I would have gone back, I'll show you, I'll show you what it looked like here. Um, I probably would have used a little bit bigger of a clamp. That clamp worked, but I would have liked to have a full one and a half inch clamp. Um, there's the two cameras there on a clamp. Let me see if I they can look get. so heroic up there. I know. Like, it's like it's almost like there's, there's a, a cape behind them. I know. Um, I don't have a better shot of the whole setup just yet. You Let's have see. one. I know I have one. Let me see if I can pull it up. But there that they are, they're powered over Ethernet. Control. Controlled over Ethernet as well. So just one Ethernet cable for both of them. So this really essentially cool. was a switch to an IP workflow in a mobile streaming production. Yes, exactly. And that's one of the things. So that's we a switched. big change from last year. Here we go. I'll cut to this one. And it's a brave feat. That kind of just shows from afar what it, what it looked like. We were under the blue tent. And then we also had. What is up with that? What? The what camera. Is, oh, it's a little shaky. I apologize. Wow, that's really shaky. Um, no, it was like. The, 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 well, it's also the videos coming over NDI on our network. It's just being funny. It's being a little. There's the mounted jumping. camera. Is that on the stage behind the band? But yeah, we put an NDI camera behind the band as well. And that got us some really amazing shots, which mm -hmm. we'll look at. But we still kept all of the cameras connected over SDI. And I did that because, and I'm glad I did that because the color depth is um, deeper with SDI. And a lot of times, maybe you wouldn't notice the difference between SDI and a, a compressed IP video signal. Um, but a lot of times you can. So Drake says, so you prefer the clamp for the universal applications of placement? Um, yes, I do. My, but my clamp was a little too small. I want to get a bigger clamp next time I go out. But it's a clamp mount to quarter 20 uh, tripod. So you can put still fit the cameras on there. And then we, we plugged all the cameras in SDI. I still used NDI um, for one of the cameras, but the SDI cameras uh, perform better in low light, especially. So the low light um, feed was uh, was really important. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit about low light today, but on the back to basics on Wednesday is going to be all about low light. Okay. Um, so Look at that. There they are. Looks so good. Uh, we did still have our uh, PTZ producer kit, PTZ Optics producer kit, which has a joystick. Um, and then let me show you. This is what it looks like. Let's see. I'll play that again. This is the PTZ controls in vMix. Mm. So we can have the PTZ controls inside of vMix, uh, which allows me to. If you have the network control. The network control and the 4K version or higher of vMix. Okay. To do that. So that allowed us to do uh, just click these little pictures. Let's see if I can push play on that and have the cameras Corrido. move automatically. So each band that's set up, I would probably do something like uh, take a couple PTZ positions for the, where the different uh, artists are set up. Every band's set up differently. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I could actually run a playlist. I remember that from here. last year. In between each band, you'd have to make new presets. Yes. Uh, and, yeah, and doing it with a serial joystick and trying to write down which one is which is, is so <laughs> annoying. With yeah. on vMix, you can just like update it. You get a new picture and it's much better. Now, this is something that people were really surprised, really impressed about is this is the vMix playlist feature. Mm -hmm. So I actually had to go home and leave the entire stream for two and a half hours. So you left the stream unattended for yes. two hours. Now I, I There was a guy there kind of watching over stuff, but he didn't know how to use right. vMix or anything. So... If you can see here, let's let's go That's back. That's genius. Can you annotate on top of you this? You can literally leave for an hour. I left for a full hour and came back. Now, this so is what's here... called a vMix playlist. So those are the available inputs. And then the other side is the playlist that we're building. And you add them. And so you add them in. You tell the, the software how long you want each one to be, what transition that you want. And then you just hit loop. And they just keep going on and on, which is really cool. 
Um, so it just gives you all your inputs. Gives you all your playlist. inputs, which is great. Where's the timing? It must be down uh, here it's somewhere. It's in there. And yeah, you just double click each one and then you can choose your time. Oh, I see. You have it here. Now quickly, let's take a look at the networking. So I wanted to mention this a little bit. Um, I had a 16 port PoE switch and I also had a small wireless access point. Now my 16 port PoE switch was managed. If I would have gone back, I probably would have done unmanaged because that became a headache. Managed switches that need their own IP addresses and they can mm. create their own IP range. And it was, I had to connect to the network that they had to get internet access and to give all the cameras IP addresses, you have to have DHCP enabled. How is so, the strength? The stream was fine. Um, it was just the IP ranges were getting all messed up with my managed switch. So I'm probably going to return this switch and get an unmanaged switch. The internet um, was good. Huh? But speaking of the internet, here you can see uh, Facebook. So it's there, that, there it is on my phone. Uh, you can see it coming up uh, on Facebook there. And so we just streamed it to Facebook. Um, you know, we didn't really feel the need to stream everywhere. You know, we just, just streamed it right to Facebook. So let's see. So we looked at all of that. Here's a cool use of the new PTZ uh, control app. So one of the great things about the PTZ optics, uh, this is the Windows app, but it's available for Mac as well, is that you can make changes to luminance, contrast, and hue, and saturation without having to open the on-screen display menu. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, running three cameras. And they were and high up. They were high up. They were far away. Far from the monitors. And those um, controls are over here? Yep. The viewer here. Um, Tess, you're familiar with the multi-viewer, right? Mm hmm So this allows you to see the entire um, setup uh, of all of your cameras on one screen. And then there's my vMix shot, and then I think I show the band itself. So they're not just the tiny little boxes. It's an expanded version of yeah. the inputs, right? Oh, there's my DMX controller. Yeah, so instead of looking at it, the you way had they are, fun with these lights. I know. Well, Look at all that fun. That was going a little crazy with the lights there, <laughs> um, and I've kind of felt bad. But I was asking the band. I was like, "Is it okay that like I'm like shining a giant light at you?" But imagine that shot without a spotlight on them. Yeah, yeah. it does make a big difference. Doesn't that guy look like Vince Vaughn? Yeah, he does kind of. Here is the um, the audio mixer. So we wow. could have used, my plan was to use Osseo audio inputs. What do you have here? That's not mine. That's t uh, Tom Worthington, who's the audio guy. Okay. I was like, did he plug everything into the Ashley? No, that, my, that was my plan was I got a 16 channel mixer so that I could do that. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm still glad I have a 16 channel mixer in case there's like a band I want to stream or something. But there's Tom operating the board. And I just took a stereo feed out of his board and brought mm. it into um, our audio mixer because I wanted to do a separate mix for the audio, but being me, like a solo streamer and everything, it was just one layer of complexity that yeah. I, didn't, I didn't want to deal that with. That you could avoid and make simpler. Here's the um, Chave Intimidator. And we're shining some lights all around. Wow, that's great, Paul. Just showing how to, uh, the kids loved it. They did? Oh my gosh, they were like following it around right. and dancing. I love that. It was a lot of fun. I can actually show. So that is actually controlled by a hardware controller called the Obey 70. And it does have a little joystick on there. Um, DMX control is interesting. You can have 512 channels of DMX. Uh, on a single universe, they call it. Um, but this sort of reminds me of us getting away from serial control and getting more into IP control. Mm -hmm. IP control does exist for lighting. So that's something that we'll probably be do upgrading to next year. This is the Intimidator one more time. You didn't bring the gizmos, did you? What gizmos? Oh, the geyser? Yeah. I didn't no, bring the geyser. Oh, we didn't play with the geyser yet, no, did we? No, we didn't play with the geyser yet. No, not the geyser. The, the fog machine? No, not the fog machine. The plates. The gobo. Gobo. I, I did bring the, the gobo was in there. So gobo the gobo was in But we didn't it. need a stream geeks or people. But yeah, I didn't need to like, like, like literally like put my logo on the band's face. Because I ended up, I wasn't sure. This is the first time I ever used this. Now, I will say that the cool part of it was 
uh, when the fog machine turned on, you could really see the colors so much better. You see that the fog there from the behind the scenes camera? Mm -hmm. It just looks really good. Um, so the fog machine is controlled by this little device here, which allows you to have a timer, continuously have it on or take Duration. manual control. Inter intervals. Hmm. So that was kind of fun. But I ended up using this Intimidator Spotlight not for its gobo, but really just to light up the band. Because without that light, the cameras would have had a really hard time. I think the struggle would have been more so yeah. than last year. Or as, you know, it would have been like last year where it was very difficult. Every hour the lighting was changing and we are having to adjust. It was so hard. But when... And then also the other cool thing is like right now he's playing Jack Johnson banana ba uh, banana pancakes. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, I, you're so colorblind. So why? What color is that? It's green and blue, Paul. Yeah, but I thought that would be good for banana pancakes. I thought you said yellow and blue. Well, yeah, I probably should have yellow and blue. OK, so you think because for the bananas do the yellow? Well, it's good. It's great. <laughs> well i just thought i was just trying like, i am colorblind i was just trying i thought to... you were telling me earlier that you made a yellow and blue and then yeah. i just saw it was green and i was like oh well that looks yellow and blue to me but um i was <laughs> Maybe trying to change the colors depending on the mood of the scene to my eyes which is genius i should never be a color uh matching expert because i don't I'm not very good at that but I and the circle try. looks like a pancake that's for sure it looks like a pancake and there's a prism um, thing too. A prism basically splits the light into three rays. So it's three circles. Mm -hmm. You can see right there the, the the guitarist is a little cut off. So I figured that out by the end. Um, so I did all of that. And then I want to show you guys one more little uh, tip that I learned, which is at the end of the show, I asked all of the bands, uh, I said, hey, guys, do you mind if I use your, your, your audio? Do you mind if I take your audio and use it for whatever I want? And they were like, sure, go ahead. Uh, and I think that a that lot never of happens. Well, yeah, I know, right? So, no. well, these guys were really nice. Yeah. And so I wanted to show you guys how this works um, because it's pretty cool. And I have to do this by showing you guys what's a program called VLC. So let me see if this comes up all right. So here's VLC. I'm going to try to position it in here so you guys can see this. All right. So VLC is a program that a lot of people use. And we all know VLC. Right everyone here. knows VLC. And what you do is you go to convert and save. And you can add a file. So what I did was I actually went to my footage. Here's Jiggly Jones. And I um, went and said, all right, I want to convert this into an MP3 because I just want the audio. Uh, you know, we, we already recorded all the video. We got re a really good audio mix. Now we just want the audio. And so we'll call this Jiggly Jones. He, probably, he had some good songs. And I'm always getting copyright strikes. So I'm like, all right, this is great. <laughs> How about I get some original music? They can't say nothing now. Now they can't mess with me because this is come completely at me, percent Google. original. And so don't, don't it, come at me. it pumps it out of VLC. <laughs> oh my goodness, VLC is getting a little tiny there. And then once it's done in VLC, all right, this is not coming through very well, so I'm going to get out of here. Abort, abort. Abort mission. Go back to... Drone cams. Oh, actually, I can go back to. Uh, ah, I'll go back to this. Um, Did you use the drone this year? I yearly yeah, drone I, I used, footage. I used the drone a little bit. Yeah, it was Good. fun. Um, I used the drone. So it's all right. So that's twenty minutes of our complete setup. If you guys have, if there's any questions, Tess, let me know. <laughs> we'll switch to Twitch. You're going to hear some original music in from from the bands in our switch to Twitch. Love how you didn't show any of my presentation. Sorry. <laughs> Tess made a really nice presentation, but I, it was only like 15 or 20. Yeah, she made like 20 slides that I didn't show anyone. <laughs> next time. We'll I might, I might still be internet. able to use it for okay. something else. Okay. Maybe next year. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll tell you. All right, guys. I'll, we'll see you on Twitch. Talk, see you guys soon. Thank you, guys.